Hi everyone, it's your girl Ruth and I wanted to talk to you about resiliency. Um, this is a topic that this really describes me as a person, not to say to brag, but I'm a resilient girl. <laughs> That's how you can um, stay in like long-term relationships. It's not healthy for you, resiliency. That's how you can bounce back from breakup resiliency that's how you can put your all and start a business and never quit until it's successful resiliency without resiliency you won't be able to withstand the tests that are going to come you're just going to give up you're going to quit you're going to do things only because you feel like it how about you do things and if you fail you do it again and again and again that's exactly exactly what resiliency is it's actually falling over and over and over again and still dusting yourself off and picking yourself back up i've personally been told by you know um my broker um you know that i was like one of the <laughs> he's like ah oh, you tried harder than anybody else i know <laughs> See, that's not bad, right? But um, it's terrible, actually. You know, I struggled for a long time in real estate. And I, I, I did things their way. And I did things my way. And I found a way to do both. And um, But without being... Res I think resiliency comes with patience. And it's so funny because I don't consider myself to be a patient person. Like, I want the big stuff now like who else like wants the big stuff now okay i want big stuff now but it seems like i'm so impatient with the bigger picture but i'm patient with the day-to-day -day. people say you're so patient thank you for your patience i'm like really you think i'm patient i just kind of know how to work through things and i will never know how to work through things if it wasn't for resiliency if it wasn't for things going wrong and like i'm not gonna sit there and just cry about the first chance i get I'm like, okay, how can we fix this? How can we make this right? They're always going to come back with bad news, Ruth. So how are you going to turn it into good news? I think that's what it is. It's turning bad news into good news. And living with bad news until it turns into good news. It's actually requiring a lot of faith to be resilient. So I hope to be resilient. How about you? Click on the link below if you want to join my list.